And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Moon Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for today's episode, today's Apple TV Plus's episode of Lady in the Lake, episode three, starring Natalie Portman and Mosley's, Mosley, Moses, uh, uh, Ivy. I probably butchered her last time. I apologize. So I watched the last, last week's episode, be, last week's premiere, because... Big fan of uh, Natalie Portman, obviously. She's, my opinion, the GOAT. And uh, obviously Moses, she's from um, Star Wars. She was great in that. She was in Obi-Wan. She played one of the Inquisitors. She was actually really good in that. So I wanted to see what she could do in more of a drama stuff. So here we are. So we got to meet these two very different women in there. And I believe this is the 60s. Could be the 70s too. I'm not 100% sure. I believe it's the site. I'm not mistaken, it might be the 70s. I might be wrong, but anyway. So, two different ladies. Two completely different, you know, lifestyles, obviously. One is a single mother. You know, she has her husband, but they're not really exactly close. And, you know, they just... You know, they do different things. He's a comedian while she's trying to work. She works, at, I guess, at a department store. But also tries to keep her kids from, you know gambling and right you know picking numbers and all that so she's just trying to you know raise her kids and try to do the best she can while natalie portman is a jewish mother who's you know kind of a housewife kind of a mother obviously homemaker all that stuff but she wants more she wants to go back into journalism and last two episodes last week's premiere had two episodes where a little girl gets lost she gets kidnapped nobody knows what happened to her natalie portman decides you know what? I, I should go find her. And, and here's some spoilers if you've not seen the episode from last week's episodes um, from the premieres. Kid end up dead. They end up finding out who you know, finding out who the killer is. They end up catching the killer, putting him behind bars because he's kind of disturbed, and they lock him up. So we think. So in this week's episode, we got to see Natalie starts questioning some things that's going on about why he was, you know, why the circumstances with the young girl happened, well, evidence was presented, and Natalie starts, you know, kind of like playing detective, kind of, you know, reporting and trying to figure out what's going on. She calls, she literally calls the prison where this guy is at to see if she can get an interview, see what happens, and, you know, she wants to get back into the journalism business. Apparently she had that when she was a young girl in school. So she never really got to pursue it because she became a housewife and a mother. And so while that's happening, you have um, um, Cleo, as they call her, Moses. She um, she had a bit of a situation last week. She kind of needed, she kind of had some issues. Her kid's sick. He's got a disease. I think one of the big diseases from those days. Uh, syphilis, I believe it was. Or, I don't remember what it was. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um. So anyway, his, he's sick. She's, you know, she's struggling. She's still trying to figure out what to do, you know. And then she gets involved with the bookies. And, you know, they kind of want favors. And then she gets somehow corrupted to drive a car by gunpoint, literally by gunpoint, to go to a senator's house who's kind of trying to, I guess, win a, an election. And um, things don't go quite well. And now the cops are pretty much on the case of trying to figure out who the heck was involved, why were they involved, who was there, who shot who, and all that stuff. So now, you know, you have Cleo. She's kind of worried. She's kind of trying to figure out, like, okay, what do I do? Do I leave town? Do I disappear? Do I get money? Do I, you know, work the books so I can get more money? Because, you know, if she works the books, it's gambling. So she picks the right, you know, the right winning numbers or... I believe it's horses that they're betting. So I think that was the big thing back in the days. So I think she was betting on horses. And then if she wins, she can get a lot of money and get the heck out of town. Problem is, she has a kid who's literally like at the brink of being like dying. Like her, there's a moment in this, there's a scene in this show. And this is what I like about the show. This really gives you details about how these ladies, although they're very different women in here, they're also kind of the same. You know, Natalie's also struggling with her kid in a complete different opposite way. Her kid doesn't really want to be connected to his mother. He finds a very shocking news about his mother that he, he never knew. And then it, you know, kind of 
drifts them apart while uh cleo she having the opposite problem her kid's so sick to the point where you can see his eyes literally in this in this episode kind of broke my heart a little bit because this kid's eyes is like bright yellow not like like oh when you see a movie like possession demons and all that stuff yellow no i'm talking about like he's sick like eyes are like yellow and that was freaky the way that they, the way that they did that was cr cr clever but man that kid that kid is sick she went to a priest even the priest is like yeah god's ready to take you my child and you know you're gonna you're gonna have to just you know i guess accept it obviously she kind of goes to a little funk starts kind of acting kind of crazy she goes to the near nightclub that she always goes to with her husband where they always do the books and or ex-husband husband says she's separated because he does comedy and you know they're not really together together but they're together she's still around so anyway she goes there kind of makes a fool of herself starts drinking starts acting silly and and you got to feel for her you really got to feel for her it's kind of like the yeah, she, she needs to pull it together because she's falling apart. And obviously she eventually does. But um, yeah, and then of course we get to see at the end of the episode, Natalie gets the phone call saying that the guy that she's been trying to figure out, is he really the killer? Or he was maybe framed for something he didn't do because, you know, he's kind of a little odd because he only worked at a, uh, what do you call it? A place, a fish store, fish pet store. And he's, he's kind of an odd guy, so... She's going to go interview him, I guess, for next week's episode. So, not bad of an episode. I'm still very intrigued about the story because we even got some moments with, with Cleo. Even her childhood was kind of, you know, seeing her, how she started, you know, doing the books and all that stuff back then. But she also had a tragedy as well back in then when she was a child. So, that was interesting to hear about. Even the cops are kind of corrupted. Even the African-American cops are kind of corrupted here. So, that was pretty interesting to see how they... One of the cops who's African-American, he's hooking up with Natalie in this. So, there's that. He might be the only good cop there, but his partner's totally crooked. You can totally tell from just watching it. And, um, yeah. I mean, look. The performances here is, are incredible. I think Natalie... And Moses are doing a really good job with these characters. They're both very intriguing women. And obviously, like I said, they're both, they kind of, we're going to end up finding out later on how they're connected, but they're so not connected. And they're in the same time frame, timeline, every, you know, literally, we even saw a scene together where they were like literally in the same room, but they don't really interact. I mean, I don't know if they're going to interact later on in the season, but, um, so far, so good. I'm I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to keep watching this show and check it out, see what happens and how it ends. I'm actually kind of intrigued about how it would end. But um, we'll save that for um, when it does end because it's only seven episodes. It's a miniseries. But um, yeah, I like seeing Natalie do something else. And, you know, I'm kind of glad she's doing a TV show. So we'll see what happens. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Are you guys watching Lady in the Lake? Not interested. Don't really care. You checked it out. It wasn't for you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good night.